so this video i am going to show you how to design our footer section so let's look into the template file and then we can start our real project work so here i can see the link list and then one horizontal line and the copyright text so let's start the design and let's create one partial view presentation and then partial design and then right click insert partial design footer and then open this in experience editor okay it's loaded so let's start the design mm, so here i can see one row and within the row i can see so <clears throat> here i can see one container and then they have added one row and then column 12 so let's uh, follow the same the component and then first i have to add the container so select um, yeah it's added then add row splitter row okay it's loaded now i can see two row uh, let's add a column in the first row. Mm. The row, page structure, and then column. I have added the column. So I can see two column, but I want only one column. So let's remove one component. So let's remove one of the component. Mm. remove and then bucket and 12 and laptop also 12 and okay so now we can add our um, link list add common end and then navigation link list and select and create and the folder the folder name is footer footer in list okay and let's create a list in list one and okay now i can see the link list and let's add a title the title is facebook is book Um, let's remove it. Okay. I think we don't need to give this title section. We have to add only the links. So edit the link and Facebook. Description is Facebook and browser. Mm, okay, it's fine. I think we can give the link to this one. Okay, and then. One, two, three, four, five link. So let's save the page and go to the data source. In the data. And here I can find the link list. And then footer link list and link list one. So let's create link two and link three. And link four and link five. Link five. So the values are Twitter and then we had Sun LinkedIn. So insert external link and then 
give this uh, so i have given the link description and the url is yeah okay let me give this url and then insect so the next url is the hands and insert external link this one copy this and paste it here and then okay save the photo is blended is this one and save so let's test the page in experience editor yeah now it looks fine and let's see the page in normal view refresh okay actually uh, i just designed my partial design but i didn't add that partial design in my page design so i could not see that footer section in my home page so let's go to the presentation and then page design and here we can find home and here i need to add my footer then save then refresh the page yeah now i can see the section this is my header and then footer section and then um so here i can see my header section and footer section so it looks perfect uh but i could see um this horizontal section and one more copyright also i have to add and one more thing is it should be in center right it should be in center so let's see is there any options available for this in the bucket section and alignment content left right center so let's try this okay and then save and then refresh wow it's amazing it's worked um so first we will focus on this copyright then we will look into that horizontal line so let's add one more component and i think this time we can use the rich text for this um, copyright uh but i like to follow the same structure one row and two column um it in the row i can see two column component so the same row i like to add a one more column uh, so let's find the row okay the row is fine then add a component and here i have to add the splitter column and then i don't on this one i re let's remove and then by get let's change into 12 and then laptop also 12 then okay and here we can add our rich text rich text okay uh, so there are two options in the rich text one is the uh, rich text and another one is the rich text reusable in case if i use the first one um it's like a local data source um if you use the second one it's like a global data source that means it's a site level it will automatically create the data source in the data folder uh, not in the local section so let's uh, use the first one now and select and yeah now it's added in the page so let's edit this section let's save the page and then go here and here i can see the pencil icon edit text let's use it text and pencil and this time i like to use this whole div text control all control c and html control v and accept then save it looks fine but we need to move into the center section so the alignment is in component section I get and here I can find content sender and okay and save and refresh this page wow it's looking so good um and I could see in the 
uh, background color is not updated so let's find it uh, here they have added these cases like footer color uh, background color is a black color and in our case there is the footer section okay here i can see the footer section and okay footer and then yeah Probably it is it's coming from the template tempo.log.css already I have updated that CSS. So the my expectation is it should come here. So uh, currently I can see the CSS are coming as the optimized file. So let's remove this optimization. Um, go to these page branches and here you can find the optimization and the style is no. And then save and then refresh this page. Uh, let's check this and okay hmm. um, actually the CS changes are not updated here that is the issue so if I see this footer section here it's adding from template or uh, template to stand blog dot CSS so the same file already I updated if you go to the media library the themes the psycho shades and then here and then here and then styles yeah already i have updated that but it's not affected in my system then why so um is it the correct theme so we can find the theme in page design and uh, yeah i found the issue so if i go to the page design here we need to define our default theme uh, my default theme is site theme name and then save and uh, the left side is the themes um, the right side is the theme name so already we have we can find all the available themes here in the themes folder and i have uh, using this uh, site theme uh, so i have used this theme and uh, so let's refresh the page oh okay now we can see it's um the css changes are updated here 